Matic. The trend is your friend. Ride it until its end, until it reaches its bend. Well, the intermediate trend of Matic is looking like it's reaching its bend for a potential trend reversal. So today I'm going to show you how to set some price targets, which are really reliable and how to really monitor and lock in as much profit before it likely is going to do a correction. So if you like today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Let's dive straight into Matic. So we did a video on Matic on the 24th of July. And what we said here, if I just draw this out, was that it was highly probable that we're going to get a move to the downside and then one more leg up at least to the upside and we want to be aware of this. And I've taken the data back to this date on Matic. So we're just going to jump into a live chart. I'm just going to unfold the data. So again, remember we said likely to go a bit further down and then move up. So it unfolded really nicely. Typical ABC correction. One of my favorites, by the way, when you see these kind of three wave moves to the downside and then another move to the upside. However, there's been a lot more price action since then as well. So now I'm just going to unfold the data so you can see it, it, it performed pretty accurately what we, what we were seeing. But ultimately, the market is going to do what the market is going to do. And we must take that feedback and look at what's likely to occur next. So Matic went sideways. And now it's just on one more bar to the upside. So we're going to look at this in a non-emotional way. I've actually drawn some technical analysis on this already. And it looks like this. So we're going to use something called Elliott Wave Pattern, Fibonacci Price, Momentum. And we may use some Fibonacci Time as well. I'm going to read you a quote from my, my book. It's one of my favorite quotes, but we're going to really apply it to what we're doing today. It's chapter five, and it's from Leonardo da Vinci. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication, right? Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Now, there's a million and one tools that you can use in trading, whether it's indicators and everything else. But I'm going to show you just the simple four-step methodology. By the way, if you want a copy of my book, some brilliant stuff on the mindset and goal setting, you can now download it for free in the description link below. Just literally pop in your details and you'll get an immediate copy of my book. I think you'll get some amazing value from it. So with... Matic, right, also known as Polygon. Markets, not just Polygon, not just crypto, but all markets, they tend to move in fives and threes. And when we see a very clear five wave structure, we want to be on high alert. High alert that we may be coming towards the end of a five wave trend. And we can actually measure the relationship between the waves. So initially, we thought we may be getting this as the top. But as the market has done some type of correction over here, and this price it's actually higher than this price when we take the closing data. Closing data, what does that mean? Well, this bar represents the high, the low, the open, and the close. But if I go to just closing data only, we'll see that this price today is actually higher than the previous price highs. That's significant information that tells us we're probably going to see a bit more sideways to up, but we're coming towards the end of a trend. So I'm going to show you some Fibonacci ratios. Now, if you've never done Fibonacci ratios before, what was figured out? is that these ratios show up in nature all the time. All the time, all the time, in just nature with trees, the way trees grow, the way we are as humans, the way our faces are, and there's certain relationships with, you know, what, what beauty is considered as, is these magical ratios. But what was figured out is that these ratios show up in price action on buying and selling behavior. Basically, we're measuring fear and greed. So we're going to measure this, and we're going to come up with a high probability end of a wave five target zone. I'm just going to keep it really, really simple though. I'm going to keep it really simple. There's two main ones that I'm going to use. There's something called the external retracement, which is basically the relationship between this wave four and this wave five. Right? So we're going to basically measure this wave four here. And a typical external retracement are these two ratios, these two green lines, 1.272 and 1.618. I'm not going to go into too much detail on that today, but just so you know, it's very, very reliable. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to measure this whole, it's called wave one to wave three and project it from this wave four low. And there's three ratios that we want to be aware of. The minimum typical is 38.2. And then the next most common is 62% and then 100%. So the fact that this 32% clusters in between these two, it makes it really, really, really significant. So now we have a price target with Polygon, aka Matic, that you want to be on high alert for. 
Now, it doesn't mean it's not going to shoot past this, but it just means it's likely to reach this zone and want to be on a high alert. You may want to tighten your stop loss on a one bar low to lock in profit because we're likely going to get a trend reversal. A few other things that we can also do as well. I'm just going to do, I'm going to keep it simple today. I'm going to do something called a high to high to high ratio. This is time analysis, taking this high to this high. And we project that forward. That tells us we're likely to see another high around today, today or tomorrow. And then I'm also going to do something called a low to low to high ratio. These are quite reliable in terms of Fibonacci time. So it just gives us a, a time ratio to say, all right, we're probably going to see in this region over here, there's a few other factors we can do as well. We're just keeping it really, really basic for now. So we know we're in a price time zone as well. I'm going to add in two other elements. Remember the quote, where you can get a copy of my book, every chapter starts with a new quote. But simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. So there's something that I use called double time frame momentum. There's thousands of momentum indicators, thousands of them, but they all pretty much do the same thing. They measure rate of change and they go into these overbought and oversold regions. So I'm actually going to pop out of this chart. By the way, if you want a copy of this chart, exactly all the analysis for Matic, you can actually now join my R15 crypto gym in the back end. It's one pound and you get a 30 day trial, loads of goodies including access to my charts. So crypto charts, you'll see this over here. Uh, one of them will be Matic, you'll get Matic. Um, it will look something like this. You'll get all these all these charts. But you also get a few other bits of training. I, I wanted to emphasize, I have a bootcamp and you'll get some free training or, or for one pound for 30 days. And it's the Elite Wave and Fibonacci price. Some of the foundation of what we do, because these patterns show up time and time again is one of the best ways of reading the market. So if you want to join the R15 crypto gym where we also do daily workouts with some crypto, including Bitcoin, one pound description link below and you get a 30 day trial. So with Matic, I'm going to jump into the weekly chart. So when you get the chart, you'll get a view only mode where you'll get, you'll literally see it like this. We can actually copy it into your own trading view and have all my settings. So I'm going to the weekly chart, which is the top left. I'm going to double click on the weekly momentum. And what we see is that the weekly momentum made a bearish reversal, basically telling us that the blue line went below the red. And it just tells us that it's likely we have a weekly high on our hands. So there's a, so let me just show you how reliable this is, right? Now, this is a lagging indicator. So it's based on history, right? But it can help us determine when a high is likely to occur. So we can see over here, a high occurred with Matic, and it coincided nicely with this over here. So we've got the next high over here. So we anticipate a weekly high. So we should anticipate some type of sideways to down movement, right? So this is called the trend is your friend. Ride it until its end, until it reaches its bend. So Matic, when the trend was up, you should only be looking for buying opportunities. But now we've got a five wave movement to the upside. The momentum is overbought. We've got some Fibonacci price and Fibonacci time ratio that tells us we're likely close to an end of a trend. So we don't want to be necessarily buying right now. It's either anticipating for a correction and holding through that correction or taking profits or, depending on your trade strategy, shorting the market. So what we're going to finish on is we also have a daily momentum. And ideally what you want is where the weekly momentum and the daily momentum point in the same direction. That will be your ideal scenario. So when the next time the blue line goes below the red, which is likely to be maybe today or tomorrow, maybe the day after, we're also going to have something called a bearish divergence where the momentum is going down. If we take the closing price, the price is going up. That's just another sign of weakness that indicates to us that Matic is coming towards the end of an intermediate trend. So what I'm going to do is two things, right? Because it's really, really important. Even though we anticipate a correction, that's a good thing. That's a good thing and a healthy thing for any market. I'm going to tell you why. So let me just clean this up. So what I want you to think about and how I want you to think about this is, so I was just thinking there might be one key, other key ratio that we can use that can help us um, is wave five and wave one have a direct relationship with each other. Um, actually, I'm, I'm just going to use this information. I'm just going to measure wave one. 
just going to add this in very, very quickly. And I'm going to project it forward from this potential wave for a low over here. And I'm just going to project 62% and 100%. Uh, this is quite a significant ratio that just tells us this is the range that we want to be aware of. So how I want you to think of this? Just from a logical, remember, you know, the ultimate sophistication is simplicity itself, Leonardo da Vinci. Keeping it really, really simple. Think of the market as driven just by buying and selling behavior. When there's more buyers than sellers, it means the market is bullish. And it's called a bull market because the bulls, you know, the horns push up, push up the market. It's called a bear market because the bears claw down the market. So the market has just done a sprint, right? And it's still sprinting, but it's coming towards the end of the sprint. So think of this as Usain Bolt's that 100 meter, 200 meter sprint. And now he needs to catch his breath. He needs a breather, he needs a rest, he needs a recovery. And that tends to be what corrections are. So after a sprint, especially when it formulates into a five wave structure with momentum on two time frames, with pattern price and time, more often than not, we'll get a correction. Right? I'm going to talk about this correction in a bit of depth today as well. So we want to be aware of this. But after a correction, just where we're all on the same page, the market tends to expand to the next level. In other words, bigger than the former move, right? The next wave tends to be bigger. And that's what we're anticipating with Matic, right? So what we're going to finish on now, just, just so we have a bit of um, context, is let's just say Matic does hit this price zone over here. And let's just say it hits a wave five top. What should we anticipate next and what's highly probable? Again, I'm just going to do a bit of forecasting because I think it'll be just useful for you to see how the market tends to unfold time and time again. I'm going to do it quite fast. If I can grab these ratios. Let me just do that one more time. We can take this low to potentially the date over here. And the ratios that I want is 62 and 38%. This is the typical time it takes. So the correction is probably going to be until early September. Early September. So we're talking about two, three weeks sideways to down once the upward movement completes. So that, that's really, really important to note. And then the price, typical price, I'm going to do it from here. We just take this low to this high. Let's just say it does get to here. We don't know that information yet. So I'm just speculating just for this exercise. But more often than not, we will see Matic and other cryptos like this doing some type of three-wave correction. That's the most common. Most common. Will be something like this. And if we do see this unfold, then we want to be getting ready for buying opportunities. If the momentum's in our favor, we're coming towards the end of the blue, which is the, the correction, and then it will tend, tend to continue to the upside. So right now, it's lock-in profits or just prepare for a drawdown of 50 to 62, maybe up to 78.6% um, in terms of the price movement to the downside, and then prepare for another long opportunity to the upside. So hopefully that all made sense and hung together. So make sure you download my book. You'll get a lot of content. It's absolutely free. But more than that, join me for my Bitcoin workout, Solana workout, and BNB workout tomorrow morning where we cover that in depth. We're just shorting BNB at the moment. Shorting BNB is a nice high probability setup this morning. And we'll see how it unfolds. One pound and you'll get a full 30-day trial. So if you like today's content, now with Solana today, we, we really went into depth. Really went into depth. Not Solana. We have Matic. We have Matic. Matic, Polygon. Really, I like Matic, right? It's really, really healthy and everything else. How's it going to play out from a fundamental perspective with Ethereum migrating to 2.0 and everything else because Matic is a layer two solution? We don't know. But when it comes to technical analysis, we don't really need to know that information. We can just look at the pure price action. All right, let's finish on the quote again. Repetition being the mother of all skill. Leonardo da Vinci. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. And what we started with, the trend is your friend, ride it until its end, until it reaches its bend. Based on momentum, double time frame momentum, pattern price and time, it looks like Matic is coming towards the end of a five wave trend. And we should anticipate some type of breather correction, which is healthy for the market before we could expect a continuation making higher highs, which will be healthy for the market again. So join me tomorrow. 
for the Bitcoin workout, Solana and BNB. I'm going to break it down and make sure you get access to the Matic chart so you can just download all the settings and put it into your own trading view. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.